When you're working with a cloud provider, in this example, Microsoft Azure, it's important to be able to track any security recommendations that are based on your deployment and your configuration of cloud resources. That is precisely what Microsoft Defender for Cloud is in Microsoft Azure. Now, here in the Azure portal, if I were to go to All Resources, the All Resources view, which is also available in the left-hand navigator, we get a list of all of the cloud resources that we've deployed. And we could go into each and every one and take a peek at how it's configured to see if it aligns with certain security standards. We could also search for the word policy in the search bar at the top. We could use Azure policy assignments to check for compliance with certain security standards. And of course, our focus here, we can search for Defender and go into Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Think of this as one-stop shopping. It's automatically tracking your Azure Cloud resource deployments to determine what kind of security compliance you have. For example, on the overview page for Microsoft Defender for Cloud, it states that I have one Azure subscription and 43 assessed resources and seven active recommendations. And down below for regulatory compliance, for example, with PCI DSS version four, we have a score of 198 out of 206. For workload protections, it looks like on a particular given date, we've got some high severity alerts. If I click on recommendations, if I click on recommendations over on the left, and if I click all recommendations towards the top center, then I start getting a list of the recommendations related to what really should be done, where our attention should be focused, like system updates being installed on our machines. That's a high severity issue here. If I were to click on that link, it gives me the details of that issue. And if I drill down under affected resources, it'll show any where that needs to be applied. If I go back to my security recommendations, we've got some other recommendations like secure transfer to storage accounts should be enabled. If I click on that, then we'll get a list of any healthy versus unhealthy resources. Now, if it's showing up as a healthy resource, it means you don't have a problem with that security recommendation for those listed resources. In this case, the storage accounts. Let's go back to recommendations. So back up at the top, under active recommendations by severity, we don't have any recommendations for high, medium, severity, it's just low. If I were to click security alerts over on the left, then we've got some security alerts related to things like successful logons. If I click on that to open it up, we get a message about a remote IP address historically associated with brute force attempts has successfully logged on to this device. An attacker on this IP might be using a compromised account to access your network. And it says the user C. Blackwell successfully logged on after 40 attempts on two unique users. And we have a date and timestamp. Now what's interesting about this, 